today here on the BBC and Action Sword has been called in to examine the activities of a Derby-based training company that ceased trading after receiving £31 million of public money last year. The firm, called Aspire, Achieve and Advance, or 3A, was one of the biggest providers of apprenticeships in the country. Today its office was closed with a sign wishing apprentices, employers and staff all the best for the future. Well, Michael Sullivan is there for us now. Mike, good evening to you. So who was it then that called in the police? Good evening, and It was the Department for Education which has been investigating 3A. Now, they've referred their findings on to Action Fraud. Action Fraud is run by the City of London Police. They, in turn, have asked Derbyshire Police to take up the case. They will look further into it, see if it reaches a further threshold for more investigation. Now, 3A was a major provider of apprenticeships uh, in the country, 3,000 plus, 34 academies, 500 employees. One of the founders, Peter Marple, stood aside from the company last month saying he wanted to spend more time on his health and with his family. At a conference at Wembley Stadium in the summer, he was uh, upbeat about the company's prospects. We've been appointed now to about 20 organisations, mainly in the in the corporate sector where we are lead providers but in the public sector that is now starting to build as a common theme so NHS BT which is one of our new clients we have been appointed there they're very much leading the way in this area and we've been appointed their lead provider uh, across the UK. Well, Mike so many people affected by this what's been the reaction of apprentices and uh, the training sector as a whole to that? Well, Morris, the termination by the Department for Education of 3A's contracts has been a huge upset. The department says they've put uh, now in place a uh, specialist team to try to smooth things over, find other uh, training providers, set them up as well. But I've been speaking to one other training provider based in Nottingham who says he's been taking calls today from apprentices and from 3A staff members. I think all learners, businesses uh, and employees are still in a, a, a state of total shock, to be honest, I think. Gone from working with uh, a training provider that was graded by offset as being outstanding to being told with, with little or no notice that they're being made redundant yesterday. I think it's been a, a fairly sort of worrying and hectic journey for a lot of them. Well, Mr Marples is a former director of Derby County and 3A uh, sponsors the Derbyshire County Cricket Club ground as well. Uh, he's also stepped down tonight as the director and chairman of the Spencer Academies Trust which runs 18 schools across the East Midlands. Let's see how this unfolds. Mike in Derby for us, thank you very much. Well, it is Friday, so the 